The standard metaphor for this is that Putin, unlike many Russians, is not a chess player. He's a judo, what they call a judoku. He does judo, which means that you never prejudge a situation. You wait for the opportunity and then you grab it. And a lot of sensible people are saying in, in the present context, the reason we don't know what Putin is going to do is because he himself has not decided. They've launched the, um, the, the, the military surrounding of Ukraine in the hope that that would produce constructive negotiations. I'm, I'm sure that that's the case. Um, if it doesn't, then he decides on his next move in the light of where that takes him. And I've set out the pressures that will be on him at that point. But he's not a man who leaps to especially big decisions unless he is absolutely confident that those are going to be successful big decisions. Um, as I've said, in, in international affairs, the big example was actually the annexation of Crimea in 2014, where you had the Maidan revolution and all of that going on in Ukraine. It wasn't in the least bit obvious how Russia could or, or would react. No one really paid a great deal of attention to Crimea at the time. All of the action was in Kiev. And then suddenly these so-called little green men appear in Kiev, uh, appear in Crimea, take the place over with, with not a shot fired and with very little risk of any comeback because by the time people had noticed what was going on, it was a fait accompli. That's the sort of operation that Putin likes. Hard to engineer in the present circumstances, but that's the sort of outcome that he's looking for. And to come back to a point I, I just made, he, he makes his decisions late and very much in the light of the situation on the ground at the time.